Hey guys, how's it? Aloha, this is James here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge with a question for you. What makes you the fan that you are for the artist or the bands or the musicians that you're a fan of? Now that might sound like an obvious um, answer might come from you folks, but let me just share briefly. This is not going to be one of these long talk stories, but I'm really intrigued about the process because here's what's really cool. I feel like I'm at the very beginning of this process because you guys know my trajectory. For those of you who do, November 18th or 19th of 2020, my daughter asked me to do reactions because I'm a composer. I'm like, what? And I look into it. The first reaction I do is Tool Sober. And here I am, eight, nine, ten months later, almost 200,000 subscribers. And I've done hundreds now of videos. And I find myself immersed for the very first time in my life. And even though I am a composer, I'm a media composer, for those of you who don't know, big difference. Um, I find myself becoming a fan of bands and members. And in my case, maybe because I'm doing all of this and you guys are telling me so much, I'm very intrigued with the people behind the music that I'm enjoying through this journey. And, you know, I remember when I was younger, I was never really a fan of a band unless I dove into it. In the 70s, it was easy for me, you know, Deep Purple, Sabbath, Zeppelin, uh, Pink Floyd, um, you know, because that's what you did. You got baked or whatever you did when you were younger and you listened to albums and read credits and you got history and story. But as my career took off in the 80s as a composer and engineer and all the things that I've gone through, um, I didn't have time to immerse myself into the backstory of a, of, an, of a band or an artist or a musician. I did a little bit with Joe Satriani with Surfing, of an Ali Surfing with the Alien album because I was really just blown away by you know, his composition uh, and a little bit with another guitar player by the name of Mark Bonilla. And I was really intrigued with that. But then out, out, outside of that, that was probably mid to late 80s. Then my career took off and I never really got involved. I'd hear a song go, wow, what a great song, what a great riff, what a great... Wow, what a great motorcycle that was, must have been. And, um, but I never said, okay, who are they? Uh, but here on this journey, you guys suggest songs to me that I've never heard, and bands that I've never heard. Now I'm starting to get familiar with bands when I'm starting to get like a suggestions. I'm like, oh yeah, I've heard, yeah, I've been getting suggestions and so on. But I find myself so intrigued that now I've gone beyond, uh, you guys have given me a lot of great information, but now I go and, and kind of research other, um, I, program blog channels if you would that talk you know these people that have their opinions and they're kind of his, his historians in metal and stuff like that and get the real depth of it understanding it's their point of view it's their show but there is consistency with it uh, anyhow I did stray this is not talk story but I did want to just say that that this is my experience as a, as an old guy oh I'm not that old but I mean you know what I'm talking about as an old composer venturing for the first time into metal and all its subgenres uh, on this level, I find myself going, wow, what a killer backstory on this singer or on this drummer or on the transition of musicians between the bands, you know, and does that transition also bring me, since I'm a fan of this singer or artist or musician that goes to this band to this band, does that work its way through? For me, it's incredible, but um, I, I guess... It always starts with one song and how it moves you uh, lyrically, melodically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. And then maybe the next song, I don't know, that, that, that to me is the <laughs> What song was it first that pulled me in? Anyhow, I just wanted to know, was it, you know, when you are now a super fan of whatever band it is, put the name of the band that you're like the super fan below. And if you have a minute, just kind of say it happened on this day, I heard this song and Ever since then, I was pulled in, yada, yada, yada. I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much. Uh, support the channel. You want to buy me a cup of coffee? My Patreon is doing really well. I just put a, a poll on there to help me program for next week. And uh, so you can check that out. That link will be there. If you do decide that you, you know, maybe not want to buy me a cup of coffee and you go to the Patreon, at least if you, you know, go on the Patreon maybe just for a month or something and, and go, at least you get, you get a prize. You get a prize. You give me money, I'm going to drink coffee. Chew. All right, I'm always doing videos. But if you do decide to go to the Patreon and hang out for a month, then at least you have a whole plethora of things that I've only done on Patreon because what I do on Patreon stays on Patreon. It's not a peekaboo thing where, you know, you get preview of stuff. No, I'm, I'm going to treat Patreon as is my Patreon members. And then I have my YouTube channel too. And I think it's a good balance. I don't know. 
Anyhow, have a wonderful day. Have a safe weekend. Take care. Aloha. All right. All right.